is 90% there. And that's honestly kind of the biggest problem with this is because it's so close to being done that uh, the hardest part is really just keeping people from doing stuff to it. Yeah, the Buick itself was uh, formerly a, a circle track race car down at the Santa Maria Speedway back in the late 90s or so. Uh, a buddy of mine who does some off-road racing with us here at the Carlite in his backyard and I expressed my desire at one point to do, uh, put together a race team. And he's like, well, hell, I've got a race car sitting in my backyard just rusting and collecting hornet's nests. The biggest challenge for this race team is going to be just getting together the people we need, the stuff we need, access to facilities, the things we need, uh, like money, for instance, to go race for a weekend. That's really the biggest challenge at this point. We estimate this car will burn about 150 gallons of mid-grade gasoline in a given weekend. So our gas bill is astronomical. Well, Christian brought it up uh, last year at an ITS meeting. Uh, trying to set it up and it all kind of sort of fell apart like he couldn't get the support from ASI and kind of fell through the cracks and then he brought it up this year and said he got the support from the industrial technology uh, department and had a car and all the things were all kind of meshing together and I was like you know count me in right now it's not more, more or less it's a lot of industrial technology students who are getting involved I just happen to be one of those students um, but ITS does want to get more involvement with them uh, possibly help fund the the project if the need be. You know, I mean, it is the industrial technology racing division, so ITS definitely would like to get some uh, face time with the uh, racing division as well. Well, uh, we need at least four to six drivers for the race. Uh, we thought about racing in August. It's going to be a bit of a stretch to make that. But uh, altogether, the team, it would be nice to have about a dozen people, a dozen good, committed people involved at any given time. People come and go. Um, over the summer, it's real hard to get people that are committed and involved. But uh, during the school year, we hope to have a fairly solid crew. A dozen would be nice. but. Uh, I have contingency plans for skeleton crews as well. Well, our club heard about it through, um, actually one of our members brought it to my attention. Um, and then we met with Christian a few days ago and started talking a little bit about his car and his vision. Well, it's definitely an interesting project, especially since most of our members have uh, built cars and, and race and things like that. Um, we're currently in discussions with uh, with Christian and the um, Industrial Technology Racing Division about a potential partnership between our two organizations, um, but it's just um, the discussions have just started since we've just become aware of them. Races, the Lemons races themselves are all over the country. If we wanted to go race in North Carolina and we had the money to do so, uh, we could. Uh, in California, there are three or four main races that occur every year. Uh, it would be nice to be competitive in those and have the funding to participate in all of them. Uh, at this point, we're shooting for a race, a solid race in December or October, depending on our funding situation. Uh, that's kind of where we'd like to go with this, is to be able to race two or three races a year during the uh, academic year, and maybe one in the summer giving, uh, depending on commitment and the uh, availability of money. Um, if you're interested at all, we'd love to have you. We don't just need, you know, gearheads and stunt drivers to come out. That's uh, really just a very small fraction of the team. We need people that can, uh, you know, cook. Uh, having a good cook with you when you go out to a race is a big deal. Um, you know, and, and this car does need to have a theme. The 24 Hours of Lemon does really enjoy their, the themes they come up with for their cars. Uh, for instance, there is a Lincoln Continental that was covered in birch bark entirely, and uh, most of the team members dressed up in beaver suits. So pretty entertaining stuff. Uh, you know, for instance, if you're an art major and you think that painting a 79 Buick LeSabre would be a cool senior project, let me know. We can make it an art car. Um, it, it's really, anybody can get involved. Uh, if you've got even something you think you can bring to the table or you really don't think you have anything you can bring to the table, we'll figure something out for you.